September 24th, 2023, sitting at around 175. Goal to be grateful to be 185, same percent body fat, 67% body fat. Got to keep eating and building, sleeping. Gonna, gonna get there. All right, y'all. Got my good friend here, Louis Henderson. Hey, Louis. Louis, how are you doing? You know, Louis was the one that actually got me into personal training uh, several years back. We're, we're going to talk about planning right now. Like the, the idea that we all, we both do it, I would say probably naturally now after so many years of being in the, in the fitness. But how do, you, how do you plan for your up and coming week? You know, your workouts, your meals. How do you, lay, how do, you do stuff like that, Louis? Well, the thing that most people really want to understand is that you want to get your body on your biological clock of eating so that it knows it's getting a certain caloric intake. Pre-plan your meal so that you know what you're going to eat Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. You know what you're going to have for your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner, and your snacks so that you don't fall yourself just getting hungry and then, oh, Burger King, McDonald's, just sounds good. Mm -hmm. You know, and there goes your diet. You That's know? a great point. But I know that for me... Uh, uh, having those cravings, a lot of times, and what I've seen with people I've worked with, you're going to get the most cravings when you're haven't been organized. You haven't you've you've gone too long without eating. It's been several hours, and now you just grab anything, anything that's some some fast food, some junk, right? But if we plan ahead, right? Yeah, absolutely. Because for the most part. That good food is comfort food. Whatever mm -hmm. makes you feel good at that time. Mm -hmm. You know, it could be ice cream. But if you start yourself on a diet, knowing what you're going to eat, pre-plan your meals, pre-cook your meals so that you have them ready Monday, Wednesday, Friday, available so that you know exactly what you're going to be eating at that time, that will keep you consistent on a meal plan and on your diet and your way to success. Mm -hmm. So we're going to leave you with that. So think about that. Wherever you're at right now in your fitness journey, don't punish yourself. Don't beat yourself up for past mistakes. Mm -hmm. Take it one day at a time. Just just start planning right now. What am I, I going to eat tomorrow? What am I going to exercise on tomorrow? Right? Absolutely. All right. Well, thanks, Louie. We'll see you. See you on the next one, y'all. Bye for now. Sunday midday, just after 1 o'clock, and just got back home from an attempt at a consultation. Stopped off on the way home for some for a Trader Joe. Got some kale, basil, osmotic rice, kiwi, whole grain, bread, potato, banana, almond milk, cereal, lentil wraps, blueberries, grapes, dates, figs, mushrooms. Get ready for a big a big uh, big eating time. Going from 175, was 175, goal is 185, so this is part of the process, is just eating. My goal is to get about 500 carbs a day and about 150, maybe up to 200 I'll test, grams of protein, and I'm working on my fat, fat level grams. Keep you posted. Bye for now. Bitcoin update, September 24th, around 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and this is a good example of swipe coin just really... The zone's just really working out. You can see where it broke the zone, closed, and confirmed the idea. So this is just based on the 15-minute time frame, but we'll do a bit more of a deeper dive in later. Bye for now. Some banded hip distractions. So if you are dealing with a hip tightness, in either one of your hips. This is just a tool to use that I'm using, just sharing with you as I'm doing it. That's used for loosening up the hips. <laughs> right. So all I did was this is about, this is really not even a, a neat, I want to get a thicker band for the home. At the studio we have some different, some thicker ones. This uh, just below medium I would say intensity, but it, it gets the job done. I just basically attach it to a door frame. I just leave it there. That was a recommendation from my therapist, just to just set up something and just leave it there and just get on it every now and then. And I have, and September 24th, 2023, this is my fitness and finance blog. So 
keeping in mind the big picture that health is wealth, cash flow is king, cash is queen, and credit is freedom. These are kind of like my, my marching mantra that I'm going through with my, my days and weeks that I'm, I'm building and doing the best that I can in my fitness and finance area. So number one, realize that health is wealth. So I'm really concentrating on exercising the best I can, eating the best I can, sleeping the best I can, supplementing the best I can, having the right mindset the best I can. Health is wealth. I'm, I'm dealing with a left leg injury, so you'll see some as the, the progress goes through that, that I'm praying and affirming that I get healing somehow, some way, overcome that issue and get back to full, full strength. And that my my personal goal that I'm working on in the fitness area is to be 185 pounds, about six or seven percent body fat. That's about another 10 solid pounds of muscle from where I'm at right now. Is what uh, my goal is. I'm about 175 right now. We'll be doing some some daily weigh-ins too, or maybe not daily, but almost daily. In the, in the finance section, um, from the mentor that I follow, I, I believe that there's you know, cash flow. So, so think about my first mantra, health is wealth, right? Cash flow is king. So that's the thing, where we get our cash flow. Everybody's different. Um, it's kind of very individualized, what I have found. But generally, from what I've seen from my mentor, he teaches that we have uh, four basic areas of income, whether you're an employee for someone, like in my industry, I'm a personal trainer. You can you can be an employee of a company, or like a like a large gym. You can go work for them, be an employee, or you can too be a sub, uh, not a subcontractor, but self-employed. Self-employed is you basically, as a personal trainer, you self-employed. You're basically just you're self-employed. You're employing yourself, so you're running things, your own business a little bit more. But that's the different area but you're still employed you're still trading that time for money which is you know not bad it's, it's a great way to get started <clears throat> but then we have b for businesses so i'm concentrating on that i have a personal training business i have a weight loss business and i have a marketing business so I have three different businesses that i'm building income streams from and then what we do is we take our income so we take our polar income whether we're an employee self-employed which is i'm large and self-employed and if you have businesses, we take that income and pulling it into assets, right? And so that's kind of the whole thought process. So I've lined up. My, I have a week uh, coming up tomorrow. I have a full day. I have 13 hours uh, back to back. If everybody shows up, no breaks. Starting at 6 a.m. all the way to 7 p.m. Zero breaks. Just trying to optimize every hour of the day. And that's just one strategy. But then... Uh, I have other things going on the rest of the week, so but that's the thing. As long as you had, I'm just trying to do the best I can. I feel like I could do so much better, but my thought process is that I'm making progress. I, I can you can see the progress. You can just like visually see it. So, <clears throat> but that's the thing. So I'm concentrating on one health is wealth, two cash flow is king. I want that cash flow? We all want that cash flow. I want you to have a strong cash flow. Number three. Cash is queen, just meaning that it's kind of a joke. Probably you never heard that, but if cat if cash flow is king, one of my mentors says he's a billionaire. Says cash flow is king. We want that cash flow. Yes, we want to have cash on hand, right? But cash flow. See, that's the thing. That's why big businesses are great. Cash producing assets are great. Everybody's a little different. Whatever you're whatever you're, you're building your life around. But there's, you know, then we take that money, but, and then it's like a game, you know, and it's uh, one of my mentors has a game called the Cash Flow Game, and I've played it with one of my coaches uh, more than once, and you learn a lot, and it is a game. It's the whole thing's a game. You just kind of learn to gamify what you're working on. So right now, I'm really working on my fitness. I'm going to be the best I can. I'm 185. I'm going to be happy and grateful that, I say my goals like I'm encouraging you to say your goals. I am happy and grateful now that I am 185 pounds, feeling strong and healthy like a supple leopard, thick brown hair, 20-20 vision, perfect teeth, <laughs> supple skin. You guys know each other a lot.
supple skin, thick brown hair, supple skin, right? And then you go on, you can say more and more and more things about it, right? So that's the thing, is you, you just, every day you say that you are happy and grateful now that you are, and then you say your goal, and that's a great way to, uh, to go about attacking your goal. A like bold, and be, go about, go about, set your goal, like I'm trying to set mine, and go about it boldly achieving your goal. Consider that. See you on the next one.